So you've got two important parts to your bow tent. One is the ridge pole and one is the cover. Now the importance of the ridge pole is it's got several uses. You can lay it down on the ground and where the holes are and the pole that's where you put the holes in the ground to put your ribs and once you've got one side of the ribs up you can use the pole the ridge pole is a T a T square to get your where your other pole's going to go and just mark across six footsteps and put your first pole in then go down to the other side where your last pole is and measure six footsteps across and put a peg in put a peg in then line your pole back up straight and put your other ribs in and you should have a quite a square uh, set up then the other thing about the ridge pole is that you don't have to tie up the tent the, the, the bows just go right into the holes so no need to tie it so that is uh, quite a key part to and how to set it up So, if you decide to make a ridge pole, you'll, you'll make a lap joint. Now that wood is uh, one and a half inches by two and a half inches. And in real money, it's 40 mil by 60 mil. So, you make a lap joint where it's going to join. And that's where you start uh, your measurements from. So, you'll measure, uh, you'll put in your first hole and it'll be exactly the same on each side and then from the middle you measure down two feet and then two feet on one side and two feet and then two feet on the other side and you just put holes in that uh, two sticks will be able to fit through and that is it simple but very very handy piece of gear uh, if you're making a bow tent So I'm going to dismantle the, the frame now and set it back up using the ridge pole as a guide because I've really only put the poles in the ground just to get them bent a bit so we'll see what it looks like once that's done So that's it set up with the ridge pole uh, you can adjust it here and there, you get it just the way you like it. Uh, so all there is left now is to throw a tarp over it and see, check the measurement, see what sort of tarp we need to make. So that, that's a three meter by three meter tarp, which would almost cover the structure. Could do with being a wee bit longer. So like I say, a 12 foot, wide tarp would be ideal and probably a heavier material would actually be better as well just a quick look inside so there's still adjustments to be done in the tarp or in the tent uh, you'd need a bit for the back but that would be a good structure just to uh, you could peg that down uh, and it would work okay for a shelter so that's uh, the bow tent the bow tent in the making